everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, where the inspirational talent goes behind the scenes, interview some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we're back with a special Tech Tuesday. This is an actual addition to all the other videos that we do on Tech Tuesdays. And we've had a number of questions in regards to the black screen issue within recording. And these have been a variety of different questions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover a few of these questions. Hopefully this helps um, in regards to some of these questions. Now, if something doesn't help, please do just send us an email or um, in the comments, you can kind of put a little bit of a, you know information in there, what issue you're having, and we can make a video in regards to that particular question because each question is different and sometimes these settings, sometimes these issues, I mean, there's so many things we could sit here and talk for hours in regards to some of the issues and fixes uh, within this black screen, but most of them seem to be pretty much the same. So we try to cover those questions, but sometimes there's a different, you know, issue that, you know, we just didn't see. So put it in the comments, send us an email and we'll make a video to that. Uh, answering the questions sometimes can become very difficult especially if we don't see what's going on and or have that type of system that you're utilizing. And it's harder for us to a little, you know, it's a little bit harder for us to diagnose that issue. And again, make sure that you do like and subscribe to these videos. That way, whatever Brian and I are putting out there, you do get notifications when these new videos are up and coming and or coming out. So if, if there's something in this video that's, you know, this seems to be too long, Good thing with YouTube, you can fast forward it. So just fast forward it. So if you're there's a part that you're interested in, fast forward to that uh, you know part because this segment's going to be a little bit longer. And if it's you know eight or ten minutes and you don't want to listen to that full eight or ten minutes, just fast forward to the part that you want to get to. So um, with that said, we're going into Netflix. The the I mean, this is one app. Uh, that we had talked about uh, in regards to the black screen issue. And I wanted to show you some of the issues within uh, that we're kind of experiencing some of the questions that we had. Now, Netflix, if you do use their app in particular, their security settings are a lot different than if you log on and go to Netflix, as you see, we're in their just their browser. It is not their app. Now, a lot of times this bypasses some of the security settings that they have um, within their app because their website doesn't have as many security settings in there. Now, as we had talked, you can go into your security settings, which is these little three little dots here. And then you go and depending upon what system you're using, you'll look and you'll see security, security settings, and you can go in and you can add, remove cookies, remove pop ups. So especially like with cookies, if they're not, you know, allowing the the same thing with the cookies are almost like pop ups or little things that are within the videos. If it doesn't allow that, it will block it. Uh, so that's one issue. And then your security, sometimes if the security settings and the pop ups or are too high set, it, it won't allow the screen to even record. And something I didn't mention as 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 you see in many of our other training videos, we're using OBS. OBS is the best platform. Look to our other videos as far as OBS, how to download it. Uh, you know, there's many different editing tips within that. And we're always coming out with new for OBS too as well. But that's what we're recording on is OBS and it works great. So I recommend it you, you guys out there, if you're having issues or you're using a different recording system, use OBS, it works a lot easier. Um, and it doesn't have as many blocking features within that and it helps override some of the issues too. So back to the Netflix. So we're, we are on the browser and as you see within the browser now, I wanted to kind of show you uh, some of these videos like if I click on Boss Baby and it's literally will work within the uh, Netflix browser itself. So of course, as you see, it's playing, playing behind me, it's working fine. Now, if you do go into other videos that may be here, another security setting is especially with the video or the production company, they embed securities within their video themselves. 
This isn't Netflix, this isn't anything else. So you have to kind of override that security setting that may be uh, in that video. But sometimes with like Amazon Prime, they do embed some of their own settings within the video. Um, but as you see, if we go to this video here, um, which is very, very uh, well known, and it's um, of course the Adam Project. If you guys are, haven't seen that, it's actually a really good movie. But if you wanted to do kind of like a review on it and you go to click on it, you go to play it, and then boom, you have your black screen. You have the issue. There's nothing recording in your OBS or whatever you're using. There's nothing here. We can see it on our end, on our other monitor, it's playing and we can see it playing through. You can hear it, but you have the black screen. This is actually a video uh, security setting through the video and probably, possibly something that Netflix has also um, put into that uh, video itself. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch screens and as we talked about Firefox and it working the best. So I'm gonna switch the screens and I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna play that same video. Okay, so now as you see here, we are in Firefox. Um, now many of you out there have had some issues even with Firefox saying it doesn't work or does this, you know, is this current as of, you know, 10, 1030 2022 yes it still works um now if you update your firefox or update the app and you're using the app there is different security settings in there again that will probably up update or or change i would just recommend using the browser direct and when i say browser um we have found the best things to use in recording or even doing these reviews is literally a pc desktop it doesn't have you know as many you know blocked uh, issues and we're going to kind of cover that in an, in the next um, up and coming here in about two or three minutes uh, but right now we want to get back to showing you that this Firefox does work um, this is the browser and you go into the Atom project the one we were just watching literally on the Google Chrome which showed a black screen but now as you watch there it is it's playing playing through you can see everything um, on the screen right behind me. You can see the names, the everything going on. And I'm gonna only going to go to the video real quick and you'll see that it is playing because, of course, if I play it too, too long, this is another issue and we've created some videos within that. YouTube will block it or have a copyright issue because you're basically um, showing a video that already has copyrights. So we can talk about that um, if you have further questions within copyrights. But as you see, it's plain, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's Firefox that you wanna use. Make sure you don't use the apps. The apps do block. Um, they have a, a lot more detailed security settings and issues within that. Now, uh, I wanted to cover another additional question. We've had actually a few questions about iPhones, iPads, um, and other uh, devices that you are using to record and I'll tell you right now the simplest way is to actually do this on a desktop and I think we've talked about this many many times before because especially if you're doing training reactions any videos you can have multiple screens and do you know multiple different things and it seems to be the security settings are a lot easier um, than the iPhone and the iPad uh, the reason why, like if you have an iPhone or even have an iPad and you try to go into these these two settings, which we have done this and we try to go into it. When you go into Netflix or you go into any of those, uh, Amazon Prime or any of them, they automatically force you into their app. So then you have the app issue. You can't literally go on to the uh, web address and type in Netflix.com. It will literally revert you to the app directly or make you download the app directly then you're back into that same issue with the black screen it will not you know record it, you will have a lot of issues and in regards to that so that's you know part of the iphone and the ipad issues now you can if you want to dig into it deeper but i'll tell you what it's so much easier just having a pc but if you don't have a pc and you can't screen record that way in 
you're just using a phone and an iPad and you're having, using those two devices and you have those linked and you're doing screen recording on there, um, my suggestions is, you know, you go into your security settings. There are security settings that you can try to override, but it's very, very difficult within the applications, especially like Netflix. Um, and, you know, Amazon Prime's not as not as bad. And sometimes some videos will play, other videos will not. As we had spoke earlier, there, there are some videos that do have embedded security. And then you have to actually download or buy an app that will actually take that. And we'll talk about that. That's a whole other segment. We can talk about hours and apps that you can buy and that they can uh, encrypt out like the security or the blocking. Um, and that kind of gets to be messy. That's more of the advanced um, as far as editing and technical side of things. And we can get into that further in other videos. So if that's a question that you have, email it again, put it in the comments. But this is the simplest settings that we have found. And again, to your guys' answers that are out there, yes, this is working. And yes, it's better to actually use it on a PC um, than it is on an iPad or other devices as far as your recording. Uh, we don't recommend, uh, we've had some questions too about QuickTime. I just I found that QuickTime recording just doesn't work real well and then there's a lot of issues or things that get blocked. Um, we've had a lot of people reach out to us about that. There's a few other programs out there that can screen record and they, they just don't seem to work real well. One, OBS is the best free program. They constantly update it. Um, very, very, uh, very, very good program. It doesn't crash as much um, as some programs out there. And we recommend OBS. Second thing, uh, again, Firefox does work and it does go through. But if you have an issue, make sure not to use the Firefox app. If you're using a PC, go right to their web browser um, and just type in the web browser. Now, if you update any of your applications for Firefox and you do an update, sometimes those security settings revert back and go back in and or sometimes you may not even have to have those security settings. It all depends on how you've downloaded it and, and requested or what you, you know, if you have McAfee or any of those other security things that actually will block it on your end because it's trying to protect you from hackers or scammers. Um, you just want to make sure that that's that's all coordinated. So those are things that we really can't go in and show you each and every security setting because every you know computer or software or whatever you may be do using is different. Um, but you'll have to sometimes just kind of tinker with it within security settings if you're still having an issue where it's not working as you see um, it's working here on our Firefox. Um, and if you really like to use Google Chrome, as you see back in that previous video, actually Amazon, Netflix, Disney, um, many of the streaming services will work um, within Google Chrome, but some, as you see, some of the movies and things like that will not work. And I would just use Firefox. Uh, ESPN is a real hard one. I can tell you right now, we've, we've, we're still experiencing some problems with ESPN. And like, if you want to get support clips or if you want to try to do some other extra added features with the, with using something that was, you know, recorded in ESPN, or you want to just shoot a, you know, there, there's a live game on and you saw an crazy air or something and you want to put that out there. Um, ESPN is very, very hard to get around. And this is something we could talk about if you guys have some issues with ESPN um, within their security settings and applications that can block or revert that. Um, and or you can go back to maybe something with ESPN that they've past recorded. Sometimes that works on their system. If it's a live feed, they have more implemented security settings with a lot live um, ESPN broadcasts. So those are some of the helpful tips. And we, again, we hope this helps uh, in regards to some of those questions. Keep keep the questions out there, you know, coming and, you know, email uh, any of the more detailed questions that you guys have. If you have like, you know, you if you're doing like we're doing, you know, if you have a screenshot and you say, oh, okay, well, this is working, this isn't working, this, this is what it looks like. It really helps us and we can try to make those videos and put them out there. So in regards to these questions, we hope this helps you guys out there and anybody else out there that may have this same 
issue that's kind of continuing and you have the black screen and there's, or there's some updates, uh, this, this should uh, resolve the, the issue as of today, November 1st, uh, 2022. It is all currently ready to go for you guys. So uh, good luck recording and we'll see you on the next video.